Welcome to video number 28 about how to make a chess program in Go. Uh, today we will talk about LMR, late move reduction. I will come back to that, what that is. But first we will look at some small changes I've made in the route. Uh, we have the route here. And if we expand it, and we go down to the iterative deepening, it's here. Depth 1, 2, upwards. And here's the move loop. Before, we didn't have any if or else. We have only this score equal to minus search, minus beta, minus alpha, and so on. But now, we do this uh, search only for the first move in the move list, x equal to 0. And all the other cases, we use the null window, alpha minus 1, alpha to alpha. If the score from the null window search is less than or equal to alpha, okay, then we just continue and you know that search is much faster than with a full alpha beta window but if it's greater than alpha we need to make a research with the full alpha beta window we take a risk to get a fast search and most of the time it will succeed but sometimes it was not correct so we need to do the same search one more time Actually, the gain is not that big because before we didn't use full alpha beta window all the time because if the score was greater than alpha, then we update alpha. The search gets faster that way. If we go down and look, if score is greater than best score, best score so far, we update the alpha. And we still do that. We did that before, and that's why our uh, little change doesn't make any big gains, but it gives us some, some little thing, some little performance. And now let's look at the late move reduction. Before we start here, let's talk about what late move reduction is LMR. We generate the moves in an order that we think is the best order. The late moves, I mean the moves that are not maybe top three or four or five or something, they are probably not good. And what we do there is to reduce the depth. We don't search them with the same depth as the moves that we believe in. And this we will do both in the root and uh, down in the search. We take quite a big risk here. If some of the moves, of the late moves in the move list are really good, it will take a longer time before we find out. But on the other hand, we will search much deeper with the same time limit. There is a trade-off here. We get much deeper search, but there is a risk that the quality of the main line is not as good as if we didn't use LMR. But experience has showed that this is a big gain. It's all about how aggressive, how aggressive can we be? How much depth can we reduce? Let's start to check if we are in check. So, um, our king is attacked. Our king, king, uh, side to move. Attacked by the opponent's pieces. Then we don't want to make any LMR. We will have LMR reduction set to zero. We also have an extension, extend the depth. Uh, 
we need to make an extension function later on. So if uh, we have no extension, it's zero, then we run the LMR function that give us the how much depth to reduce. We need the move, we need in check, we need the depth and the move index and the board. Okay, uh, so if we have LMR reduction, then we will reduce the depth. Uh, and we add extension as well to the depth. And in the other cases, we only add extension. We have no reduction in the other cases. We go down to the search. Let's start to change this to count moves greater than zero. Because it's the, exactly the same meaning, but it's more clear. We can copy some stuff from the root. Uh, this, these code lines. And we insert them here. Okay, count moves is better. We have count moves. Okay, so let's use the state vector in the move generator as well. Maybe we don't need count moves. Okay, we change the... It should be like this, right? And we add extension and we remove the reduction. And here we only extend and here we only extend. Doesn't look right. I changed this. So we put that here. We put this one up here. And equal to zero. And remove this one. So if it's a PV node and count move is equal to zero, then we make the search without reductions. Um, in other case, we make a reduction first. If score is bigger than alpha, okay, we search with the full alpha beta window and no reductions. Time to make the LMR function. Put it here. Uh, compute late move reduction compute so okay it's a function we need the move we need the in check it's a bool uh, and the depth and the state vector and the count moves and they are int and then we have the board, it's a board struct, and we return an int. So let's start with interesting moves. In check is an interesting move if we have, a, if we made a capture, if we made a promotion. It's also interesting. Um, let's start to set reduction to zero. And if it's not interesting, move. And depth greater than or equal to three. And we have a state vector greater than or equal to next uh, first non-capture. That means that we will not use LMR for interesting moves 
or too shallow depth, we will not use LMR for the transposition table move and the good capture from the move generator, what we think are good captures, and the two killer moves. After that, we start with non capture, and then we will start to reduce the depth. So let's start to set reduction to 1 to start with. So if count moves is greater than or equal to 5 and state vector is next non capture, then we reduce more heavily depth divided by 3. aggressive. Okay, return reduction. We have more interesting moves to think about. So if we made a checking move, so is attacked uh, the king side to move. Uh, like so, should be like that. Uh, attacked by opponent's pieces. This is not the same as in check. In check is that we were in check when we started our uh, move loop. But this is attacked is after we made a move, we want to see if that move that we made was a move that checked the uh, uh, opponent's king. Then it's a very interesting move and we will not do any LMR, uh, <laughs> LMR reductions. We have more. Uh, pawn push. So if it's... Uh, White pawn. The move piece is a white pawn, and it was moved to the third row, no, the sixth row, or or more. Then it's interesting. It can be a promotion. And uh, the same for a black pawn. If it's a black pawn, black pawn, and now it's the third row, a3. And uh, we can maybe even have other interesting moves. Okay. Uh, it shouldn't be eight, it should be h3 right the third row or less and it should be depth and not count moves of course and then we have next first non capture that looks much better that's that let's go to the root and make this lmr or work. We have no state vector, so use move index. And up there it should be function, not faction. Function. Uh, we should use x, not x plus 1, for more count moves. I will keep this x plus 1 for state vector, because we have no state vector in the root. Uh, remove this one and put it here instead. Late more reduction. And we can remove this one. And now it seems to... now it looks better. So, time to make some tests and see what we get.
Testing, testing. Uh, I have made some changes. First of all, depth has no real meaning anymore. So I use 10 seconds instead. I don't use start position anymore. It's a really weird position. So I use this Bugo position, Bugo Indian. It's also a middle game position. So if you go down, first I use the 10 seconds with the same as before. The null move, but no late move reduction. Now I use dp.mv is depth and move number. So what depth we reach and how many moves we could do uh, in with that depth within 10 seconds. And the rest is the same, nodes and node per second. And as you can see, the change when we add on late more reduction, we see that we come much deeper. And it's a little bit faster. I don't know why. It can be my laptop or maybe it's real. I'm not sure. The effective branch factor has gone down from around three down to around two. And that is what I expected. So these two, null move and late move reduction, they make quite a lot of difference. Until next time, have a great time unit.